next stop, Outer Space. Welcome to beautiful Orlando, Florida. I'm here for 27 hours to watch the launch of TESS. That's NASA's new transiting exoplanet, survey satellite. This is the first rocket launch I've ever witnessed. I've never been able to see a launch of something before. Uh, it's only my second time in Florida, so it's gonna be really exciting. It's gonna be an incredible day. I'm staying in an, uh, an awesome place with a buddy, Ben Pope, who we'll see here in just a minute. If everything goes according to plan, we're gonna go get some breakfast. Then we're gonna go drive out to the Cape and go spend a bunch of the day at the Kennedy Space Center. And then around three o'clock, uh, I get my VIP access to uh, the launch. So because I was one of the principal investigators of the PIs of one of the very first test guest grants, I get VIP access. I get to be invited to the launch. The, the, my inner eight-year-old is like going absolutely bonkers right now. That's a good space man. Okay, we're here, we made it. We are at the Kennedy Space Center. This is Ben. Hey! <laughs> what do you think? Rockets? Yeah, rockets are awesome and there's like a bunch of rockets over there and I'm just wildly excited. Oh my god. This is um, going to be a great day. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing very well because, I mean, I'm at um, Kennedy Space Center and this is where they launch rockets into space and that's really cool. Sagan fellow, hey. NSF fellow. <laughs> oh yeah, obviously at some point today we're going to go to the gift shop and buy a bunch of NASA merchandise. Yeah. I'm going to come back with just t-shirts and hoodies yeah. and jackets. And yeah. If you're on my Christmas list, you're getting yeah. NASA stuff this year. Yeah. <laughs> this is all I'm buying forever. This is my entire paycheck this week. Yeah. All right, we made it in. We are yeah. inside the Kennedy Space Center in the fun tourist area, the Rocket Garden. Oh yeah, I don't know. We got our, my VIP ticket. I don't. We'll get it. <laughs> we'll get you there. We'll figure it out. There, the astronaut training experience. Oh, That's us right there. That sounds terrifying. That's what we should do. I don't know if I'd like to go into space. It sounds really scary and hard. <laughs> space shop. Yeah. I like coffee shops. and Coffee like, shops? Yeah, we should just start my office. We should, we should put a coffee shop in space. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd happily be the first barista in space. <laughs> uh, I... What? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm buying so many t-shirts when I'm here. Yeah, this is gonna be really cool. I have never seen a space shuttle. I've never seen an orbiter. Look, <laughs> look at this thing. <laughs> All right, Ben. Yeah. Let's go to space. Oh man, I'm so keen to go to space. <laughs> or at least to something that's been in space, like a space shuttle. really cool and grungy the way that it's like you, you really see that it's got all these these scars on it. This thing's really been to outer space man. Yeah 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 and it's got <laughs> beat up and it's been assembled by people. I love how yeah how little the windows are. Yeah 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 yeah. Like, that's it. I mean you, <laughs> you were complaining about visibility in the car this morning yeah. but this, this is like you know. <laughs> well this positively ranks as one of the coolest things I've ever seen and I'd be lying if I said it did not bring a tear to my eye. When those doors open, it's an extremely dramatic moment. We're re entering reality. Re entering like a ship. 
and we have re-entered back to Earth, terra firma. How cool is that? Just chilling with my BFF Atlantis. Unbelievable. I don't know if it makes for good uh, television watching somebody just say wow and have all these childhood memories come flying to their head, but uh, it's very emotional. This exhibit is awesome. Yeah, yeah so I did that for science actually. It was just an experiment in, uh, in uh, whether I could feel like a kid again. <laughs> so now I've seen two. I've seen Enterprise and I've seen Atlantis. All right, we just got out of the Atlantis exhibit. It was spectacular, it was moving. There was an amazing memorial section uh, commemorating the two shuttles that uh, were destroyed. Uh, it was incredibly moving. Obviously, I'm not gonna shoot any of that or include any of that, but it was uh, very, very, very emotionally moving. Uh, and now we're gonna get a quick bite, and then in about an hour, we're getting on the bus to go for the VIP tour. So we're hearing sad news, the launch is scrubbed. We do not like, like scrubs at all. No. I've been here for two other launches, went on time. This one, no dice. This is your first scrub? Yes, this is my first scrub. Much sadness. <laughs> you said that is? I'm the bear. Is bad news? Yes, Jim. Come on. Yeah, they just got. Like, oh, they were on the bus. Yeah, we were in the bus. Really? And they told us. And it just got scrubbed. Oh man. Yeah. Well, the unfortunate news is no launch today, and it's scrubbed for probably two days. It sounds like there's problems with the GNC systems, the guidance, navigation, and control. So this is the system to make sure the rocket goes up and not down. disappointing. So now the big debate is, do I stick around for two more days? The launch is slated to go no earlier than Wednesday. I gotta look at some numbers, talk to my family. The margin of error is so, is so slim that they can't take risks. So we get it. Um, so it's disappointing. I don't know. It's been a good day. We've had a good time. When your rocket doesn't launch, you're left with only one option. Just eat ice cream. Thank you.